Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar. Today we're taking a break from Battlefront 2 to talk about the other canon Star Wars games that expand the overall story and lore of the Star Wars universe. Yeah, they do exist. Battlefront 1 and 2 are not the only ones. They're definitely not as well known as the EA juggernauts, but they have had, and in the case of one of them, still has a pretty strong following. The games I'm talking about are Star Wars Uprising and Star Wars Commander. Both of these games are for mobile platforms and in the case of Commander is downloadable from the App Store on iOS and Android. Uprising, which is the better of the two in my opinion, is unfortunately no longer supported by its publisher Kabam. Servers shut down back in 2016 and the game has been unplayable ever since, but the story can still be explored and enjoyed on YouTube. Several channels have playlists with the whole story and I will have my favorite one linked in the description below. Now these games are not new at all. Like I said, servers for Uprising shut down two years ago, and Commander has been an active title since before The Force Awakens was released. But the cool thing about them is that they are the only other two games that are considered part of the official Disney canon besides the EA Battlefront franchise. Star Wars Commander is a base building strategy game, which you can think of as the Star Wars equivalent to Clash of Clans. I recently downloaded it myself and I have to say it's pretty addicting. As someone who never got into Clash of Clans and never understood the hype, after playing Commander I can understand the fever and the fact that Star Wars makes it that much better. The game's story focuses on you as a nameless character working for either the Rebellion or the Empire pulling jobs with your partner Sapanza. The other game, Star Wars Uprising, was an RPG style action game that was much more story driven and centered on you the player as an unnamed smuggler fighting to free the Anoet Sector from Empire control after the destruction of the second Death Star. You got to upgrade and customize armor, equip weapons, eventually gain the power to use a lightsaber, and explore an original story that ultimately leads to the liberation of Bespin. This game looked really cool and I'm bummed I never got the chance to play it myself before the servers went down. My personal taste is in the story driven material, and since Star Wars is one of the most timeless stories written, I think having this game's story unavailable to play firsthand is a real loss. Maybe one day Lucasfilm can work with Kabam to revive the game, but fortunately videos of playthroughs can be found here on YouTube and in other corners of the internet, so it's not gone forever. Looking at these two games next to major platform releases like Battlefront 2 makes for some interesting comparisons. For example, in Star Wars Commander you have a bunch of different vehicles you can build and control in order to dominate your enemy's base. Some vehicles I had never even heard of, let alone knew were canon. Vehicles like the AT-DT Walker or the Mobile Heavy Cannon, a weapon of Umbaran technology introduced in the Clone Wars TV series. Battlefront 2's vehicle variety seems smaller by comparison and more limited. Of course, these are mobile games and for that reason are designed differently than major console releases. Apples and oranges if you will. The platform games have a lot more restrictions when it comes to development and probably a lot more executive oversight over what gets made. It's why you'll see IG-86 assassin droid reinforcements in Commander, but probably never in Battlefront 2. And it's for that reason that these games have such an appeal. They sort of scratch the itch that Battlefront can't in terms of content. Sure, it's not the same experience, you're not getting fully rendered 3D models of your favorite characters, but it's still Star Wars, and the story factor alone is worth looking into, if not the gameplay. Commander and Uprising are welcome additions to the Star Wars lore, and if you're a canon junkie like me, I recommend looking into Uprising story and downloading Commander on your mobile device. It's also a pretty great time killer on top of everything else. There are in fact other Star Wars games on browser platforms that are considered part of the official canon, but these games are more complementary material to the Star Wars Rebels TV series than anything else and seem aimed at younger audiences. In terms of original story, Battlefront 2015, Battlefront 2, Star Wars Uprising, and Star Wars Commander are the four Star Wars video game titles that are part of and expand the official Disney canon. Turning attention to the channel for a moment, I recently underwent a name change in anticipation of upcoming game releases like Jedi Fallen Order and the as of yet untitled open world Star Wars game being worked on by Motive Studios. These games are also going to be part of the official canon, and to me this is super cool. Video games are great tools to tell stories. They're interactive and memorable and throw Star Wars in the mix and you've got a recipe for a good time. I changed the channel name to better accommodate videos about these new releases as the Star Bazaar will be your go-to stop for coverage on all the upcoming canon Star Wars games. So if you're a new viewer, do consider becoming a subscriber and let's build some hype for the upcoming titles. We've still got a little ways to go before we see Fallen Order or the open world game, but Uprising and Commander shouldn't be forgotten next to the big titles just because they're the mobile releases. They're official, and if you're a Star Wars fan, they're definitely worth checking out. They can be a nice break from Battlefront also, when you need it. To conclude this video, there are a bunch of great Star Wars games out there. Some older that were part of the old Legends canon, like The Force Unleashed, and some newer that weren't ever made canon, like the mobile game Galaxy of Heroes. 
In my personal bias, the canon material has a certain charm to it. Knowing something is official and part of something a lot bigger is cool, and it makes you appreciate it a little more. Star Wars Uprising and Star Wars Commander don't have all the flashiness and grandeur of the Battlefront franchise, but they still hold up in their own way, and I do recommend them to my Battlefront family. But that will do it for this video. It was a little different from my usual Battlefront 2 coverage, but with the upcoming games to look forward to, I'll probably have more highlight and discussion videos like this popping up here and there. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below and let me know if you've played either Commander or Uprising, and what you thought about them. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been Turkish Delight, and I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.